Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to another one of my pick a card readings and this pick a card reading will be themed healing medicine from the animal and elemental kingdoms. So I was just inspired to do a reading with these card decks and I'm just going to leave it open to the animal and elemental kingdom to offer you healing messages, kind of like a medicine. That's my intention. What medicine do you need in the midst of this Mercury retrograde of first Mercury retrograde of 2020 or really whenever you're guided to watch as I always intend these readings be timeless. All right, so I'm going to start picking a theme from the children's spirit animal cards. I'll get additional messages from the mystical wisdom card deck. And then we'll tap into the archangel animal oracle cards. And this is a deck I haven't used on camera yet, but I, I very much enjoy for my own personal use is the dragon oracle cards. And then I'm going to have Nature's Whisper, the deck on hand in case I need any clarifiers. So I don't intend this to be in every single one of the readings, but we'll see how it unfolds. All right, friends, so let's start opening space, inviting in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God, source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light that would like to assist with this guidance for you today. I want to directly connect with the energy fields of the animal and the elemental dragon kingdom. Dragon energy is like the guardian elemental energy. They're powerful energies to work with. And I just felt guided to put them both together. I'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. All right. So let's start to get three cards for our theme or topics. And as always, you can watch all three. You might be drawn to one specifically. If you are starting to listen to a reading and it's really not resonating and you're feeling that resistance, maybe sometimes, you know, these 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 things, these messages are supposed to teach you. So sometimes it's for you to, it's, excuse me, bah, I can't talk. Sometimes if you're getting that feeling that it doesn't resonate, that's what it's teaching so that you understand what it feel like feels like to have resistance to not the right messages. So you really cannot get it wrong with this. All right. Another one. And one more. One more theme. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? So our first will be <laughs> the cougar. You can do it. <laughs> I love it. I can already feel the power in these messages. The next one, oh, is the bear. Stand up for yourself. You know, it's so interesting. The bear is um, one of my totem animals, and I have bear energy, bear statues in my office. And I was going to use... I was going to put it out on the table, but I didn't want to mix my energy into the reading. I wanted to kind of separate. <laughs> and of course, here the bear is. See what I mean? We're always learning. I'm learning as well. So I was guided to use the bear. I opted out and the bear shows up anyway. <laughs> so and then the final one. Oh, so this is stand up for yourself. And the final one is elephant. You can overcome any problem. You know, friends, these are perfect of course would, would the divine have it any other way how perfect are these for um you know kind of what we're going through right now uh, earth angels are really learning to tap into the receptive receiver energy um we've been givers for eons and overextending our energy our time our money and even our lives for other people so now it's like the pendulum is swinging the other way and earth angels are being called back to receive and so even being able to show up to these readings to receive these messages is a powerful way for you to practice that in your own life. All right, so let's get additional cards. This is from Mystical Wisdom. Additional card, additional message for the cougar pile. 
transitional message for the cougar pile. Hmm, let's see. Just make it clear. Make it clear. Oh, there we go. There's clear. Okay, so there's two here. And additional message for the bear pile. Oops, let me fix these here. Additional message for the bear pile. Feels right. And um, additional messages for the elephant pile. And let's get into Archangel Animal Kingdom. Let's say, okay, what what supportive Archangel animal wants to come out for the cougar pile. What medicine? Let's see, what medicine wants to come out for the cougar pile? And what medicine wants to come out for the bear pile? Bear, bear. I love the bear. And the elephant pile. What animal medicine wants to come out for the elephant pile? Whoa. Okay, so we have two. And then let's get into dragon. Dragon message. Okay, let's see. Actually, you know what? I, I think I am going to switch it up. See, this is just, just how it works. I'm feeling guided to pull a clarifier for the animals. So what from, from nature's whispers, what additional message from the an archangel animal do you have for the cougar pile? Let's see. And bear pile. What additional message do you have for the bear pile? Clarifying the Archangel animal. And elephant. Additional message you have the elephant pile. Clarifying Archangel animal. Alright. Okay, now let's do overall dragon. Overall final message from the Guardian Elemental Kingdom of the Dragon. Yes, for the cougar pile. These are a really cool deck, friends. And for the bear pile. Whoa. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I have one upside down. And then finally, the elephant to show overall final message for the elephant pile all right perfect if you're watching me up until this point hang on as i set the cards up Okay, so one more overall look. If you've stayed with me up until this point, cougar, you can do it. Bear, stand up for yourself. Elephant, you can overcome any problem. All right.
And for those of you who chose the cougar pile, welcome. Oh, so as I look close, as I look close at this, this imagery reminds me of the Lion King. Uh, this is like the cat kingdom. And I'm feeling like this pile will speak to those stepping into leadership. Or maybe you're being asked to stand in your power, uh, stand up for yourself, which, which you become a leader for yourself. Um, and this is reminding you, this is, I feel like this is, of course it's a general reading, so it's not for everybody, but I feel like this is a message for some of you who are in self-doubt. Uh, you might be getting ready to backpedal. You might be, self-doubt might be kicking in. And the cougar wants to remind you that you are a natural born leader. You may have had people in your life who have manipulated or suppressed your power in some way. So um, if you feel like you have this desire for more, this, this energy within you that feels like you're destined for more, but you're in a space right now. So we're in, I'm channeling this during the Mercury retrograde of 2020 for February and March. And um, we're in the energy of Pisces, and Pisces is all emotion. So some of you may be feeling like uh, your things aren't working out, um, but what's happening is anything that's gonna hold you back, any insecurities, any worries, fears, any people that may hold you back or hang on to you, any energy imprints needs to be cleared out and the action will come. I always say that Mercury retrograde always feels like a slingshot. It's like the pullback. And right now you're redirecting your aim to focus um, on the direction of your dream. So I feel like the cougar is reminding you that you're just kind of clearing things out right now. Things are coming up for a reason. So if you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel or you're not seeing how things are gonna work out and you're feeling squeezed, good, you're supposed to be. And know that you can do it with God, with creator, with the universe, right? Okay, so additional messages from the cougar. Oh my God, of course, self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Here we are, friends. So you're in a space right now that maybe people don't understand you. Maybe you're, um, you've are you been kind of feeling like on a solo journey, journey, and I feel like the cougar's coming in and saying, we need you to step in your full power, right? Leaders pave the way. Um, and, you know, with the Earth Angel Collective, you know, we are, we are the pioneers for spirit and the divine on this planet. Masculine and feminine born energies, uh, again, are coming in to raise the vibration of the planet. And a lot of us can feel alone and isolated or feel like the black sheep or feel like nobody understands us. Uh, and, I, and I pray that this channel offers you some more of a, a tribe, a more of a community so that you know that you're not alone. You're not the only one that feels this way. But if you're feeling alone right now, good. You're supposed to be. And, and I always say, we're never truly alone. The divine is always with us. And so if you're feeling that, the universe is saying right now, you can do it, but nobody's gonna tell you how. Nobody's gonna discipline you. Nobody's gonna set boundaries on you. Nobody's gonna tell you what the next steps are in the 3D, calling you back to the divine. Look at this, this girl's face, right? She's got like the divine rays all around her and she's looking up, right? Source comes from that highest vibration of unconditional love and in that everything grows. So you're learning how to fly solo right now. You're learning to, your journey is a singular soul journey. Only you have the seeds that you're supposed to grow in this world. So the other message clarifier is owl. Interesting, follow your intuition. So I feel like this is saying that the, your answers your answers aren't going to come from the 3D world. They're not going to come from fortune tellers and psychics. And now certainly you can receive support from people who are 
uh, gifted, mm, is that the word? You can certainly re- re- receive support from people who have been on the intuition, intuitive journey. Um, you know, uh, especially if uh, you're seeking to know and understand your own intuition. Uh, and, th- and that's a certain, uh, you know, I, 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 of course, I love watching readings on YouTube too, uh, but I always practice discernment. And if it's starting to feel like, out of alignment with my own belief systems, I just shut it off. So, you know, I learn a lot from readings and messages, but I also too practice discernment. Um, And so some of you, again, may be in a space where where you're doubting yourself. And so these cards are coming out with self-reliance and the owl medicine, which is intuition. So if you start seeing owls or hearing owls, wherever you are in the world, this is a sign of going into the shadow, going into the unseen, going into the subconscious, whatever your blocks are or whatever the illusion or your perceived blocks uh, and fears and stuff like that may be coming up right now, but it's for you to learn from. So follow your intuition, your own intuition. Remember, nobody knows better than you and you can do it. All right, the archangel animal that came out is the gray squirrel. Find new ways of solving problems. So some of you might be stuck in uh, routines and, oh, no, that's not what I'm saying. Some of you may be stuck in cycles patterns, repetition that is not serving you if it's if it's debt, if it's fears or if it's um, even if it's lack of completion or follow through on things. Um, that can be another thing that or an area that earth angels need to work on is following through, finishing things to completion. Uh, you know, we can kind of get stuck in the middle there, like where, you know, things are going along and then we hit, hit a hiccup or a bump and it doesn't seem to work out. So we just throw all caution to the wind and, and give up. I mean, I mean, I know that's something that I continuously work with. And so you're learning right now how to be squeezed, how to overcome challenges and obstacles, because listen, the 3D world is built for chaos, disorder, and disarray. That's how it keeps you from your spiritual journey, right? So you need this divine energy, this support in the unseen, your own intuition to be a navigator. So I feel like some of you are saying, find new ways to solve problems. And a lot of times it comes from... uh, routine, you know, getting up every morning, either having breakfast or praying or getting into a routine where you cleanse and clear, get ready for the day, move on throughout the day, drink your water, eat your food, you know, get good rest, all those basic things. So I feel like some of you may be out of balance right now, or some of you might just be heading down a uh, a repeated pattern is that how I want to say it? Some of you might be heading for uh, uh, the same cycle all over again. So this is a message to pull back. Again, so so here I'm just looking at the third eye here, right? And this energy is coming from source. This is all about intuition here, friends. So maybe some of you are being called back to the self. Maybe you're going external and you're getting all this guidance from all these different people and it feels confusing. And the cougar is saying, no, 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 you can do it through self-reliance and following your intuition and finding new ways to solve your problems. Remember, we're in a totally different vibration. We're in a totally new energy. The energy that we're in hasn't been experienced for eons and so it's going to feel unfamiliar but your your trust in the divine and your own intuition is going to be what's going to call you forward so the clarifier oh man friends keep your dreams alive i knew these messages were going to be powerful so five plus two is seven seven is the spiritual journey seven is and it's funny because seven seven life path people are like the enigmas. People people don't often get them. They march to the beat of their own drum. And so I feel like those of you who chose this pile, you may be feeling that. And 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 the universe, uh, I'm sorry, the elemental and animal kingdom is saying keep your dreams alive. It's like how you want to feel. Um, I also want to say call yourself back to the present moment. Some of you might be getting too far in the future trying to figure out details and how and when and what if 
And I feel like this is saying, come back, come back to stillness, come back to the present moment. The present moment is where we see God creator. This is where we see the divine. We see inspired messages like numbers and initials on license plates and on a clock. It's the present moment. So keeping your dreams alive by visualizing them, meditating on them, um, praying and asking God to show you the right doors or show you or bring forth the right opportunities for you to advance. Uh, and, and again, it's some of you, I also feel like maybe there are some things. So, so if nothing's happening for you right now on your journey, some of you may need to get some things done. Some of you may need to tie up loose ends. Um, Mercury retrograde is a good time to clear things out. Uh, again, this is all emotions and feelings. So if you're having emotions and feelings come up that are uncomfortable for you, learn a different way to navigate through them. Seek support and guidance from a mentor, a life coach, uh, a, a spiritual psychotherapist, somebody who is uh, educated and has the experience to support you on this journey. Not everybody does, my friends. So this is a reminder to keep your dreams alive. Don't give up. I think this is a message for some of you that are at a point where you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. It's just getting harder. And this is just saying, hey, we got a plan. Stick with it. And then the dragon energy, white gold dragon from Lyra connects you to the highest Christ light. Yes. Remember that you have the you have the power, you have the force, you have this high vibration of unconditional love that operates within you. Uh, so it says develop your cat your causal so- chakra. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. This again, friends, is your intuition. It's 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 like a silver cord that goes from your heart up through your throat, your third eye, out your crown chakra, past your eighth chakra, which is your soul star. It's not your soul, but it's your connection to your soul, opens up the divine plan, goes through the Shekinah or the heart of the dove and connects with your higher self. And in that is the Christ conscious grid that you connect to all healers, all beings of light on the planet. So it's interesting because I feel like I feel like this is God right here. I mean, look how magnificent this dragon is. Some of you may hit pause and just meditate on this dragon. It connects you with the highest Christ light. So some of you who chose this pile, you may be feeling lost. You might be getting confused. You might be getting overwhelmed. And this is the divine saying, come back to me. I know the way. And coming back to Christ or God or the creator, it's in your own way. It's in your own process and this is what a lot of earth angels are here now to to learn we're here to know god in the human form and how how magnificent that we live on a planet right now that we can do that i mean it's just very humbling and you're experiencing all facets of the human experience and it really is a gift and then from there as earth angels would have it then you teach about it i love it wow that was that was good (laughs) all right so those of you who chose the cougar pile thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this there'll be more to come so be sure to subscribe if you know somebody who could benefit please share these messages with them and i thank you for watching All right, so for those of you who chose the bear, stand up for yourself. Welcome. Wow. So right off the bat, I feel like the animal and elemental kingdom is saying, we got your back. So the animal kingdom and elemental kingdom can be forceful. Um, They can have a little bit of like an egoic energy, meaning they're gonna fight for what's right. (laughs) And so I feel like some of you 
are growing into your power, whatever that means to you. Maybe you're learning how to set boundaries. Maybe you're learning more about yourself um, and what this journey is. Um, and I feel like the animal king kingdom is saying, stand up for yourself. We're here with you. Uh, you know, it, it just I just got this image of this of this bear like coming into its power and roaring and trying to scare away uh, an attacker or an aggressor. <laughs> and then you have like a bear like this behind it, right? That's even bigger. Uh, and so the attacker or aggressor runs away and, you know, the baby bear thinks it was because of its voice, but it was really this higher power. Uh, so understand that sometimes we can feel insecure, we can feel weak, we can feel vulnerable, but know that you have this higher force, you have this power that operates and works through you. Kind of reminds me of David and Goliath, you know, and how... Um, he used a slingshot to kill the the giant, right, and caught him square in the nose. So I feel like for some of you, this message here, right, is now is, is that stand up for yourself. If you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling bullied or you're feeling manipulated and you're not really sure how to get out of it, because that's something that's coming up right now, uh, know that uh, less is more, that you can call on the divine, the animal kingdom, and ask them to clear the way for you. Um, bear energy is powerful. It is protected. I know, I know we all know what a mama bear can do, right? In the human form, of course, in the animal kingdom. So know that you're not alone right now. Some of you who maybe chose this pile, you're coming into your power. You're understanding what that is. And unfortunately, some of you may have had somebody who abused their power with you. So when you want to use your voice, when you want to exert like a stop or a boundary or even a discipline for yourself, you could feel like you don't want to be that person, um, you know, who took advantage. So know that you have this force that's working with you to help you stand up for yourself. Now, some of you may be watching this and it may not be resonating right now, but it could be something to come. You know, I, I really believe, you know, that insight comes in all ways. It comes from us understanding the past, but it also comes from us getting a glimpse into how to support ourselves in the future. So this could be something that's coming for some of you. You may need to set a boundary and stand up for yourself, and you're being asked to call on the animal kingdom to assist you. So additional messages. Battle of the Blue. So take steps towards positive change. Again, this is almost like a protector energy. Uh, so some of you might be feeling uh, at a loss. You may be feeling overwhelmed. It doesn't actually, standing up for yourself doesn't have to be a, a, to a person. Um, it could be from yourself. Maybe you're taking on too much. Maybe you're needing more rest or downtime. This retrograde is a great opportunity to do that. So if you're feeling the blues and it feels like it's coming from outside forces, know that you yourself could need to work on some areas of saying no or no thank you. Some of you might be over giving. And again, this is not to shame or blame yourself. Sometimes we do these things and we have no idea until it's already like we're in this blues and we're like, oh my God, I didn't even realize I was doing this. So that's why I said some of you might be heading towards like the blues. You might be heading towards somebody who's coming in is going to at your lowest, they're going to ask you for money or they're going to ask you to use your car. They're going to ask you for rent money or something. I feel like something's coming up. And so stand up for what you've work towards. Stand, stand up for your resources. Stand up for your time. Stand up for your energy. Stand up for your money, you know, and being able to practice discernment, especially if this is something that's repetitive. Mercury retrograde always brings up stuff that we've been putting off and procrastinating on, and, and it teaches us to deal with it, to take it on head, head on, because in a lot of ways, uh, we don't have a choice from circumstance. So, um, take steps towards positive change. Uh, some of you may need to maybe listen to some empowerment affirmations on YouTube. Some of you may not have 
mentors or leaders or a support system that speaks truth over you, that speaks goodness, that empowers you to stand up for yourself, that you've got this and you can do it and you're strong and you're amazing and you're wonderful. It's part of the reason why I do this channel is because I know so many people out there need to hear somebody speak truth over them and love and wisdom. That's why at the end of every video, I don't know if you stay to the end, but at the end of every video, I remind you that I love you and that God loves you so much it's so important uh, especially the leaders of the earth angels of the world who aren't who haven't been taught to receive and be open to kind words and assistance uh, from others so archangel animal snake interesting live according to your divine essence of course the elemental com kingdom comes in right so this is powerful for you guys the animal and the the elemental kingdom is going to teach you how to practice discernment again i keep feeling like some of you who are watching this reading you're going to get somebody who's going to call you up they're going to come out of somewhere and ask you for something if you're depleted if you're tired, you're drained, and you don't have it, um, you know, maybe standing up for yourself is saying no more. Um, and I can I can guarantee you from experience, they're going to get it from somebody else, and they're going to figure it out. And I think that is, that is something to be learned from, you know what I mean? People who take what what it teaches us is that they always find a way and sometimes you know I'm like man I need that like survivor energy or I need that like take no for what is it take no for they don't take no for an answer and they just find another way right so um we can be upset by it uh and you know we could be feel bad about it but understand that if you say no they're going to find another way. You know, of course, they know how to manipulate. They know how to play the sob story. So here's the thing, friend. My, my, my navigator with giving. If I have time but not a lot of money, I give my time. If I have overflow in money but not necessarily time, meaning my bills are paid, I feel secure, I feel like uh, stable with money and I feel like I can give it without even thinking anything of it, then I give money. If I don't have time, if I'm feeling maxed out or I'm feeling like I got big bills coming up that I need to save for, um, I give to myself. So that could be a good navigator for some of you. Um, and the snake, a snake is like it's shedding its own, it's, it's shedding its skin. So you are shedding the people who may be taking advantage of you, who may be bullying you, and you might not even realize it. Sometimes it's so subtle. Sometimes it's so sneaky. It grabs you before you know it. So I feel like snake, the snake energy coming in right now is you shedding old ways, shedding people, places, things, and ideas, getting out of this blues to enhance your journey so that you're feeling better, right? Take steps towards positive change. And sometimes that's standing up for yourself and saying no. All right, so let's see. Additional message, oh, be true to your heart. Um, and of course, the eight energy, two plus six is eight. Eight is abundance, it's prosperity. So I feel like this is the pathway to abundance and prosperity. So if you're feeling depleted, you're feeling lack right now, um, know that, and, and this could also be, it doesn't have to be monetary, it doesn't have to be external, it could also be energetic imprints. Uh, you could have people who depend on you or attach. So say you're being inspired to start a new career or a new journey, but you have family members or friends who just can't get out of their own way. So you you continuously are being called to help and assist them, right? Um, and this is this is the energy, it's, and, and I want to really make this clear. This is the enabling energy. This is coming from uh, the people who are continuously asking, that are continuously showing up, and they're not doing anything to help themselves. Right? Um, it becomes like this enabler energy. I mean, I am a big advocate for helping people. Uh, you know, I donate my time, I donate energy, um, and, and and even I'm very generous uh, with people, but it's 
it, it's coming from people who want to receive. You know, those of you who are watching my channel, you want to receive. You want to receive and you want to grow and you want to evolve. And so there is the beautiful eight energy. It's a giving and receiving, right? Uh, it's outside of that that taker energy where it doesn't matter what, what you give them. As many compliments, as many words of encouragement. If you've got people and you're using your intuition and you're channeling messages, uh, but they keep coming back and they're attached, you may need to clear that energy as well. You know, say, say no, um, be true to your heart, you know, be true to your heart. It's going to free up by saying no and moving away from that energy. I promise you it's going to make ro more room for a more newer, abundant energy to come in. And then the final dragon message, oh, rainbow dragon. So rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new jo doors, right? So some of you may be feeling overwhelmed and bogged down, right? The battle of the blues and rainbow dragon is coming in to uplift your spirits. Remember, and here's the orange energy. Orange, uh, you know, I see eights and orange simultaneously. It's joy, pleasure, like abundance comes from joy, pleasure, laughter, play. <laughs> um, most often the people who are healthily abundant, the people who have healthy amounts of money are happy they are loving what they do and they're in their full power so you're on your way and this is something to help you during this retrograde or whenever you're guided watch to, to maybe shine a light on some of the work that you still need to do so the message here says have trust rediscover wisdom expect miracles and accept opportunities I love it so this is saying step out of the giver energy and step into the receiver energy and have balance right the eight um, the eight here is about giving and receiving it's about abundance and prosperity laughter play and joy and so like I said there's energies out there that want to keep you from that and then it's just the world the way of the world it's the way of the 3d right chaos disorder disarray it's easy to fall into chaos and disarray. You don't have to do anything <laughs> and fall into that. What the work is, is staying in a high vibration. It's like uh, allowing somebody or something, a mentor, a teacher, a coach, uh, an, an intuitive, you, you're choosing to allow somebody to speak truth over you, to speak wisdom over you, uh, especially, you know, right here with this reading, the animal and the elemental kingdom. So maybe if you're seeing animals out in the world and you're dreaming about the elemental kingdom, you know, if these if these beings of light are coming in, um, explore them, meditate with them, uh, call on rainbow dragon for assistance, you know, you don't have to do this on your own, you will have to walk away from an old life that's not serving you anymore, but you're never alone, you're operating with these energies, so rainbow dragon is saying it's going to bring leaps of joy that opens new doors for you, wow another great reading all right so for those of you who chose the bear pile thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this reading there'll be more to come so subscribe to my channel if you know anybody who could benefit and you want to share this reading with please do and i thank you so much for watching All right, so for those of you who chose the elephant pile, welcome. You can overcome any problem. You know, I have to say I'm coming to the end of the reading here with this third pile. And th if you chose this pile, there will probably be messages for you in the first and the second pile. Uh, this seems to be like the overall message. So stay here, watch this. If you feel like you need more, maybe go into the other piles. This is a great starter for you. So you can overcome any problem. So the elephant remembers everything. So I'm feeling for those of you who chose the elephant pile, you may be holding on to energetic imprints of grudges, 
maybe somebody wronged you or things happened that weren't fair. Now, I know more than anyone, friends, that sometimes life happens and it's not fair and it sucks. Um, And sometimes we think like, uh, I mean, I've certainly thought, I think the universe is messing with me. (laughs) Maybe I did something wrong. Am I being punished? You know, that was certainly programs that I needed to outgrow that was instilled in me, you know, as, you know, people, uh, especially my upbringing in religion, you know, they spoke fear. You know, if you don't do this, then bad things will happen. Even in the education system, you learn that if you get an A and do well, you get a pat on the back and add a boy or an add a girl. If you don't do well, you get the looks of disappointment, right? So you learn real fast to achieve. Um, But it doesn't help us. You know, we just end up spinning our wheels. So some of you right now might be in a space where you're remembering all this stuff and you're learning how to navigate these problems. So, So let me see here. So I feel like some of you are having experiences that are just repeated experiences or challenges, adversities from your childhood. Um, And so this is a message that's coming to say you can overcome any problem and find new ways to solve those problems. Some other of you who have chose this pile, you may need to do some clearing. You may need to do some energy clearing. Um... If you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like, oh, here this situation is again, here this feeling is again, here this emotion is again, could be connected to fear, it could be connected to anxiety, uh, it could be some like tension, stress, powerlessness, uh, it could be in that area or it could be connected to like something like health or money. So if you have this repeated problem, the your guides, the I'm sorry, the animal el- elemental kingdom is saying pull back and find another way. And and I cannot, I can't, I can't, I got to go back to the memory, the, the memory of an elephant and never forgets. So this is part of your spiritual journey too. Like you're always connected to the divine and in, in your intuition. And so I feel like this wants to empower you here to say that you you know how to solve this problem. You know what you need to do, um, but some of you might be resisting it or some of you may not want to um, admit it. So, okay, let's get into the additional message. Celebration, let go (laughs) and have fun. So if you're having a problem right now and you don't know how to solve it, raise the vibration, have a celebration, have some fun, turn on some music you enjoy. If you're in this place of problem solving and you're racking your brain and you don't know what's going to happen and there's worry and fear that's in, know that you have this innate ability to know what you need, Um, but you could be surrounded by this dense energy. So as you activate joy, um, give it to God. What is that? Let go, let God, right? Um, and get into this place of raising your vibration. It's in the laughter and play. It's in the laughter and play that answers come, right? It's it's in those moments when you're not thinking about anything that all of a sudden a light bulb goes on and you're like, oh, that's it. So I feel like some of you might be stuck with a problem or situation. Know that you intuitively know how to fix it and what to do. But like I said, it could be clouded by other experiences, other people that are around you, energetic imprints. Clear that out. Turn on some music, some high vibrating music. I was listening to classical music um, the other night and I just forgot how much I loved it and how much it just, it just moved me. I haven't listened to classical music in a really long time and it just shifted my vibration and I ended up having a really great night's sleep because I have been having uh, crazy dreams lately. So uh, sometimes it's minor adjustments in our vibration that can shift things and open up wisdom and answers. So the Archangel Animals, there's two of them here. So, oh my God, are you kidding me? Elephant, I guess there is more to say about elephant that I haven't said yet. So open yourself to the true abundance. Archangels Mary and uh, and Raphael are here too, which are the healers. So it's interesting, we have one single happy elephant here, and now we have two. Uh, a mama, it looks like a mama and a baby elephant here. So maybe you're here going it alone, 
and the animal kingdom is saying call us in this is the medicine that you need so friends go on youtube and well you're already on youtube if you're watching this but listen to or watch some animals animals are all about celebration and joy and having fun right they roll around the mud they spray water so some of you, you know, maybe just receiving that the elephant medicine um, from videos and watching baby elephants run around. Um, and again, so you, some of you might be stuck in this and the universe is saying, come back to joy, come back to laughter, leave it alone. You'll know what to do when the time is right. Open yourself up to true abundance, which is that high vibration of unconditional love here in the moment. Gosh, I love that. All right, so what's the other animal? horse again here we have another again another older horse and younger one right so i don't want to add gender to it but um again i feel like this is a message that's saying don't you don't work alone you, you don't operate or work alone this could be a mentor uh maybe it could be a vibrational person who may know what you're going through and can offer consultation or assistance i feel like to solve this problem, maybe you need somebody to support you, somebody who maybe has gone through it. Uh, it could be like a mentor, it could be a therapist, it could be a teacher, it could be a friend. Um, but I feel like they're saying like, this might be something that might be over your head right now, you know, and calling on somebody of higher wisdom right here. So we all even have the energy of like the unicorn energy and the gifts from maybe this is a, a sign saying calling on your loved ones in spirit and asking for assistance of course you know we're doing an el animal and elemental kingdom reading and their energy so maybe they're saying call in the wisdom of the animals they know better they know how to help you and assist you you're growing right you're growing and you're gonna learn from this so have some patience and 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 have some fun with it it doesn't have to be about it doesn't have to be all work and all business all right so additional message make a decision well <laughs> You can overcome a problem by making a decision. Some of you, again, I said, some of you may know what you need to do. And here it is. You got to pull the plug. You got to leap, take a leap, jump in, make a decision. Of course, we have the 11 energy here. Making that decision will open up new new beginnings for you and also abundance, right? Um, you know, the horse energy here says care for others, and let them be free. I didn't read that. Care for others and let them be free, right? So that's kind of releasing, releasing. It could be releasing your ego too, that of control, that you've got to figure it out or you've got to have a hand in it. Sometimes it's relinquishing that up to um, higher beings, to the animal, spiritual, divine kingdoms. Ah, oh, but remember you're gifted with free will right and in making a decision in taking action comes new beginnings all right so let's see here final message from the dragon you've got the gold and silver violet flame dragon beautiful so this dragon transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace of course right how is i talking earlier about some of you need to clear your energy and again this isn't because you're doing it wrong you're a sensitive intuitive empathic beautiful earth angel caregiver healer on this planet um we are going to absorb other people's stuff this is why regular maintenance and cleansing and clearing is imperative just like you take a shower on a regular basis and brush your teeth for maintenance earth angels need spiritual maintenance so some of you who are stuck here might might have gotten away from that and so we have the violet uh flame dragon here the violet flame or violet fire is also governed by Saint Germain. Uh, he's like the magician, the alchemist. He works with sacred geometry. And the violet flame or violet fire of light um, is an instant transmutation tool. So some of you just surrounding yourself, just imagine this dragon wrapped around you. It's no coincidence that it has like a beautiful butterfly here. Um, you know, this is what's happening. You're transforming and you're growing into 
new vibrational being. So uh, as you open up to this and as you clear and cleanse your energy field, more can come in. It's, it's, it's time for transmutation, magic and healing. Offer service under grace, right? And here it says care for others and let them be free. So some of you caring for them is pulling away from it you know um, maybe if your your problem is trying to fix somebody else or save them or change them or make them better um, especially if it's your child right you know your children are being defined by experience that's going to help them be who they are on their journey so some of you might be challenged in that and so the gold and silver violet flame dragon here is reminding you to clear your energy, transmute the old around you with wisdom and grace. Remember that there's a higher force and a divine plan that operates and flows in us, through us, around us. So this could be a start, right? It could be a start by letting go. Releasing the energy to the violet fire of light for transmutation. Uh, you know, it could be just a brushing, like just a brushing of your aura from top to bottom, from head to toe, and just sending the released energy to the violet fire for transmutation. Um, and it, 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 for me, I energetically see it as water on a hot stove. It just instantly disintegrates. So know that through experiences and worries and fears, you're, you're just putting out energy or maybe around people who are in that space. Um, and to, to feel better, you want to solve their problems and uh, or solve your own problems. So the universe is saying, take a breath, pull back, get let go, have some fun. You know, some of you may need to make a decision. Some of you already know what you need to do. It's no coincidence that elephant medicine came out twice in this reading. I mean, really, what are the odds with all the cards that are here that element uh, elephant energy comes out twice? So sit with the elephant energy, receive, and they're all about play, friends. They're all about laughter. They're all about fun, right? They're, they have a sense of community and family. They all protect each other, and they're mad passive, right? They're powerful and they're gentle and they're magnetic. So see yourself as that as well. Like if you need to, you can protect yourself. But you know, your true essence is in family and community. And that's what you're building right now. Wow, this was great. I'm so glad I did this. This is just kind of off the cuff, just inspired in the moment. And I'm glad I did it. So those of you who chose the elephant pile, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, um, there'll be more to come. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you know somebody who can benefit, who's going through challenges, please share this with them. And I thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay, I'm going to close, close space. Um, an energy for us. All right, so let me close space by thanking all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light that assisted with this guidance for you today, especially the animal and elemental kingdom. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done in all directions of time and space. And so it is. And those are your messages for you. All right, friends, if you want to know more about me, uh, my information is in the description box below. If you're interested in what cards I was using, I have links to all the cards that I've used down below. Um, if you want to book an appointment with me or work with me in some way, that information is there too. And as always, friends, remember, I love you. God loves you so much. Trust in the divine, trust your intuition, and I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.